Hey, it's Liz. Welcome back um, to to my channel. I've been absent for a while, unintentionally, just because it's been a long haul of learning a new job, and then the shelter season is intense. Uh, for example, in these last two days, I have worked a total of 23 hours. <laughs> so, so um, I'm a bit tired, yeah. Um, we're about six weeks out from the end of the season, so this isn't going to last forever. The intensity of the work hours. I hope to be at this job for a while. I'm absolutely loving it. And um, in the meantime, um, because around this time last year is when I started my booktube channel, I, so I, I've been thinking a lot about this, about um, the one year anniversary thing, or really just how different I am this year from last year, um, I wanted to leave you with a bit of a reading list. I'm going to try to go through this pretty quick, quickly. These recommendations come from work, uh, so my work in a homeless shelter, either from colleagues but mostly from guests. So, first up, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, which I did read and I absolutely loved. The Heart is a Lonely Hunter by Carson McCullers. I think that was rec uh, was referenced in a training I was doing. Far from the Matting Crowd by Thomas Hardy. That was a recommendation from a sweet older guy, um, one of our guests, um, who um, I don't know. He's just a sweetheart. Let's see. Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome by Doctor Joy DeGruy. Um, which is a more recent one. That was specifically referenced in a training. The Last Policeman by Ben Winters, which was a book that my new boss recommended. Breakfast at Sally's by Richard Lemieux. That was That is a book about homelessness that a, another nice homeless guy was reading, and I asked him about it, and he would recommend it. So... That's on my list. Evicted by Matthew Desmond. I'd been seeing this around booktube quite a bit, um, so I'm sneaking this one in, but it sounds right up my alley in terms of this new field I'm in. Um, it talks about how people lose their housing, so uh, it's a good one on my list. The Deepest Well by Nadine Burke Harris. Honestly, don't remember a thing about where I got that recommendation from or why or what it's about, but it's on my list, so I might try to chew on it some this summer. Likewise, The Last Best Cure by Donna Jackson Nakazawa. Yep. <laughs> if you've ever read either of those, let me know what to expect. And then the last one is Through the Magic Door by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which um, a, uh, a guest was reading, and he absolutely loved it. it. He said it was like it opened reading back up to him, and um, he, had, he's, he was a guy who had been really struggling with what's the point of reading, but it, um, it, it w really was a magic door for him. So I'm, I'm very intrigued and, um, uh, it's on my list maybe for the summer. Um, I'm enjoying watching everybody's videos about what you're reading lately. And, um, I will see you again probably, um, in like six or seven weeks <laughs> because I need to give myself grace for not posting instead of just feeling guilty and never posting. So, um, I hope some of these books sounded interesting to you. Um, you can leave me questions about my job, um, as the, the guest advocate for a homeless shelter in the comments below or any other recommendations you might have for me. And thanks. See you around.